Hey everybody, it is that time of year. I just brought my little seed starting greenhouse up from the basement and we are going to sow some of our early brassicas. It's April 7th and our weather is finally starting to get a little bit warmer and so I wanted to do this this year. So um, I think I'm right on time actually for brassicas. They can go out pretty early in the season. I, I still am kind of working through like early seed starting and trying to figure out timing here, but I did spinach last year and it was really great. So I'm gonna try that um, again this year, but I am gonna go ahead and get my brassicas started today. So I'm going to start kale, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and some cabbage. So all of those things I'm going to start today. So pretty excited. Am I? So you're probably thinking, or you might be thinking, oh my gosh, what happened to her hair? Well, I'll show you right here what happened. Good morning, everyone. I am not typically a birthday person. Sorry, I look a little haggard. I'm not apologizing. I just worked out, whatever. But you guys should see the sky. I feel like this is an ode to Katrina or a celebration of me. And this video is not going to do it justice, but I'm gonna try because it is breathtaking, these colors right now. Wow. Okay, this is something I've been thinking about for a very long time. I have had my hair shaved off twice and I absolutely loved it. And I've been thinking about doing this for like months now. And I'm just, and Brian says do it, so I'm gonna do it. And also Brian said he would leave his mustache on if I don't do it. And so, I gotta do it because I cannot handle the mustache. No, and also because I really want to go back to having my head shaved. I've not enjoyed this haircut in particular for whatever reason, I don't know, my hair has been standing up. So I feel like I need a fresh start. Here goes nothing. Okay, so for context, last year my hair was bothering me. Well, since COVID, didn't like it, wasn't happy. So I thought I'd grow it out because I thought that would be easier. Really, I just want something easy. Like I want something I never have to think about. And this is it. Like I know because I've had this haircut before. So Brian's gonna use a number four because I wanna keep my burns. I wanna keep my sideburns. Also, I have a lot of hair, so this thing's gonna chug. Oh my gosh. What if that happens? Do not, oh my gosh, that would not be funny. It would be hilarious. Okay, do you wanna do a tester? <laughs> Gonna, but if you want, if you like the three setting. Oh, I like this, that, I like that. Is that, is it, is that what you just did? Yeah. Okay. But if, if you're gonna do that, then I'll mow it, mow it right off. No going back now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're good. Go slow. It's just a lot of hair. Okay. Because your hair is thick. As long as it doesn't cut any deeper, we're gonna have to go the next. From a, from a three to a one in a matter of seconds. <laughs> it's on your crown instead. I'm not cutting your crown. Ow. Watch the old burns. That's good, yeah, a little bit at a time. So luckily the haircut that I already had, I have an undercut on the sides because I have so much hair. So it gives us a starting point so that I can keep my sideburns. And actually, I was also inspired by one of my students. Uh, he, I think he came this semester after the winter break with a shaved head and I was like, I feel like it's coming. So, thanks Lane. Can you cut off the bangs? Mm -hmm. It's kind of bothering me. <laughs> they will be They're the worst part. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously though, sometimes the decisions I make. 
Yay, fresh start. This is love. So also, the Dutch in me is excited because I'm gonna save money. Oh my God. Wait till she gets my bill. Well, that's always been a pro of Brian having a shaved head. Now we're really twins. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm never gonna have to worry about whether I have to like wash my hair or what my hair looks like. Oh, it's so, it feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Oh my God, happy birthday. Everybody should shave their head on their birthday. At least one birthday. I love it. Good job, Bri. Just make sure you didn't mess any. Nobody's gonna be looking that close because they're gonna be in shock. Well, that's all she wrote. But honestly, it's something that I've wanted, have wanted to do for quite a while now and I finally worked up enough guts to do it. Look who's out. Pretty exciting. Okay, I got my trays and Brian brought up some potting soil for me. So we should be good to go. Um, and you know what? Like, I think I'm gonna do this outside because it is so beautiful. I might just do it over here. Because it's too nice to be inside. I've been inside marking all day. Uh, yesterday we had a really cool event at the school, so that was a ton of fun. Um, but I haven't, I, I do have a lot of marking, so I did all that. And I promised myself if I've finished most of it, because I'm not actually done it, but if I finished most of it, that I could come outside for a little bit, but also start my seeds. So that's what we're doing. I just use a hodgepodge of pots. I don't have, I have a lot of these uh, like plastic cups that I've reused a thousand times. Um, I have pots from the nursery that I've bought plants in that I reuse. <clears throat> and you are supposed to wash these. I don't, I'm not good at following that rule. Um, but for these brassicas, I'm just gonna start them in this tray here. I only have one of these or some of these little things here. You know, um, there are only two of us in this household, so I don't need to start too much, but I always start enough for an army and then I plant enough and grow enough for an army. But honestly, it's fine because I can freeze or preserve most of it. And then of course, eat it fresh, so. This is how I make sure that my growing media is packed in to my soil cells. Good enough. I give it a good tap. Top dress it a little bit. And away we go. Now this year, because I'm gonna be around, I'm actually gonna sow quite a bit of plant material. Um, and I can give it away if I don't, if I don't plant it or if I don't use it but I am going to sow multiple seeds per pot because some of these seeds are old. I actually didn't order too, too much seed this year just cause I knew I had a bunch left over from last year. And I really, you know, you can end up with too much seed. There is such a thing, especially if there's only two of us. So I just uh, ordered the bare minimum of what I thought I needed um, this year. Also, I got a new camera. I got a DJI Action 4, which is cool, but I am just learning how to use it and it makes me a little bit nervous. First of all, my eyes are so bad I can't really see the screen detail. Um, so I'm testing kind of uh, the battery uh, length, et cetera, right now. Um, and their batteries do die quicker than my cell phone. To this point, I've actually just been filming on my iPhone. I have an iPhone 13 right now. Um, so two and a half years of making YouTube videos on an iPhone, I thought it was time. And also we are going on a couple of adventures this year um, where I might not want to have my cell phone out all the time. And so I thought this camera was a little bit more uh, robust. So I'm just opening the seeds. Actually, I got a couple weeks ago. These are the only seeds I ordered this year. So new this year, watermelon. 
this winter squash called Sweet Mama Hybrid. Because I'm trying to plant uh, three sisters this year, I ordered a package of sunflowers, of course, some beets, although we don't really need too, too many beets. We only really enjoy pickled beets. Some winter butternut squash, zucchini, more of the winter from last year. I'm hoping to grow some more melons. The first year I grew melons, it was absolutely amazing. Cantaloupe, anyways, they were awesome. But then we had the striped cucumber beetle that ended all things um, that for us. And then some more um, Brussels sprouts. Uh, yeah, so none of these, am I gonna do the Brussels sprouts? Fit so the Brussels sprouts, fit? I think so. June 1st is my plant out date. date. I grow in zone 5A. Okay, so, a couple of things about uh, sowing brassicas and, and just in general sowing seeds. So all of the seeds that I have here, most of these are from two years ago or last year. And so when I sow them, I'm going to sow two per cell because as you, as the years go by, seed germination or seed viability is reduced. And so just to ensure that I actually have a plant in every cell, I'm going to sow uh, either two or three seeds and then I'll thin them when they germinate. Um, and then I also, a friend from work, uh, Gave me some seeds um, that were left over from a couple of years ago anyways. And these are kind of fun. I don't think they are, um, I don't know if they're organic or not, but I really don't care. Uh, but they're fun. They're easy so. So they're covered in this colorful stuff so that you can see how many seeds go in each tray. So that's kind of fun. I'm definitely not a seed snob, although I do like heirloom and organic. Uh, it all produces food and there's a lot worse things on this planet uh, if you're if you're you know if you're sourcing your food from other places versus starting your own and growing your own plants so I uh, that's not a hill I'm I care to die on a plant is a plant in my in my world so yeah so we're gonna start all of these I made some more uh, plant tags and brought out a sharpie here somewhere so I'm gonna get going I think I need to go get another battery one uno momento this new camera gig is uh, something else, but it's a pretty cool little camera so far. Uh, it's definitely versatile um, and, you know, nice and compact. I find that I look very washed out, so I think I have to play with some of the settings, but some of the neat little contraptions, it's magnetic, so the, the mounts that I have for it, it just like snaps right on, which makes it pretty uh, easy to use. But anyways, it's windy out here today, so I'll just get some footage of me planting. I'm not going to bore you to death with the details. plant some spinach in the garden. I'm going to give you a little bit of a early season garden tour. Um, I also have to go out and put Simon back because he's on the loose in the bunny pen. And what is that? Looks like a dryer sheet or something. Weird. I don't use dryer sheets. Put that in here. The chickens have been tearing it up. So look at the path. It's like torn right up. And we're gonna redo this this year, but when you have chickens, all of your tree rolls get schmucked. 
yeah i'm gonna have to i gotta figure out a plan so what's also cool uh is yesterday i saw my first osprey building a nest on my way into work and today the tree swallows are back so and i also heard a meadow lark so all the things are happening where do i want to put these uh look at this bed Oof. so this is all strawberries i've got to dig all that up i got to talk to my friend who is a strawberry person and i guess you just tear it out but i think they could be good strawberries so i might plant them down in the downstairs garden but i do see a lot of dandelions that i didn't get in the fall i kind of ended right here in the garden so oh first first morning cloak oh, this is a big deal do you see it see it so morning cloaks over winter as adults that's really exciting Oop, there it goes <laughs> that's cool that's really exciting all right where are we going to plant the spinach maybe in this bed i always like to plant it I don't think it's a big deal if I plant it in the same spot every year. Like because it's an early crop, I like to put it close to um Where are they? Oh. They're nesting on the the birdhouses that my dad built on the side of our shop. So cool. Anyways, uh yeah. So I like to always sow the spinach close to the front of the garden but probably <clears throat> it's too much work than I want right now to um, dig up all those strawberries. So I might just, what was in here last year? Kale. I might just sow it in this bed right here. Push back some of the ground cover. Oh, that looks so good. So what I'm noticing for the first time right now is that um, we have had some voles in here. There's a seed that has germinated. Uh, so <clears throat> here is, this is like from the hay that has germinated. So we'll be dealing with that this year. Here's another one. All these little seeds. Yikes. So that's what happens when you um, use composted hay that's not so composted but it's okay I don't mind I'm gonna be here this year so I can weed and fix the problem Let's go look at one other thing that's happening in the garden right now that's kind of fun. I'm just going to cover up that soil like this. Hey, Bri? I just saw a morning cloak. Oh, yeah. Got to get in here and get to work. There's a lot of work to do this year, but this is exciting. All the garlic's coming up and I got, I got a heavy amount of straw on here, um, or composted hay. I got a lot on here, so I might have to come at some point and remove some of it just to let these suckers get through, but actually it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I had to get some work done here. I uh, wanted to try and grow sweet potatoes uh, again this year, but I actually have to go inside and make my garden plan because otherwise this could get out of hand this year and I might run out of space. I think we're going to open up the bottom garden for a couple of more uh, types of things to grow. So I got some space down there, but I want to be efficient with watering. Really, that's what it boils down to. Oh, it's loud out there. Brian's power washing the uh, syrup pans. But anyways, so we've got all of our brassicas started. Hopefully they will be ready for plant out. Um, I'm imagining that it's going to be earlier this year. So hopefully um, I've not started it too early, but they're all cool weather crops, so we should be good. Anyways, hope you're having a good start to the growing season. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.